So the official roadmap for Marvel's Avengers has been updated and if you've been following the videos for the last couple of days you will know this is something that was highly anticipated by so many people since they announced that we were going to see the updated version. Now what is really good with this is we have a clear indication through the roadmap as to when the Black Panther DLC will be released and stick around to the end of this video where we're going to be explaining that because the teasers are in the roadmap it clearly gives a clear indication of the month and essentially date we can expect Black Panther's DLC so we got tons of stuff to cover because that's not the only piece of information that they dropped they also dropped multiple other things that is really going to take a lot of people by surprise because we were talking about how it's a challenge to basically boot up Marvel's Avengers on your console or PC and now well what they've implemented implemented is something that no longer makes that a challenge because you now want to play Marvel's Avengers. So like I said we got tons of stuff to cover, let's dive into it but before we do that check out today's video sponsor which is Instant Gaming who do a bunch of brand new games for an unbeatable price, check out the link in the description below. So to kick it off, what is going down, what is the thing I'm talking about that is going to draw players back in and ultimately it's something that people have been wanting for such a long time literally since the game was released and well that is something called a new champion system this is huge let me explain what exactly this is so they've done the announcement that the red room takeover event will initiate on may 20th alongside that they're going to be introducing the new champion system now what that basically is is when characters reach level 50 and how they go beyond that point when it comes down to xp and this is an absolute game changer now you'll be able to see in the background the images to kind of portray the image as well so you kind of get an idea on how it works. Now what it says word by word is that currently when heroes reach the level cap of 50, XP becomes obsolete. Now with the new champion system, heroes who are level 50 can improve their combat abilities even further. Once a hero reaches level 50, earned XP from that point on is changed to champion XP, which is specific to each hero. Now, earning enough champion XP will increase your champion level, which is marked on your nameplate. Whenever a hero levels up their champion level, they'll go ahead and earn a champion skill point, which is then used to unlock a multitude of champion skills. Champion skills are on their own separate inf interface and they take the form of boosts to your damage, perk chance activation, heroic charge rate, etc, etc. Now these are permanent increases so every champion skill matters. Now they did add a little side note that says you will not be able to respec your champion skills yet so please choose how you want to power up your hero wisely for the time being until they go ahead and implement that. So this is huge, this is basically what a lot of people have been asking for for such a long time and I have to give my hats off to them because it's finally being implemented into the game and like I said it gives you so many more reasons to go ahead and start this game and really get playing even more. Now what is really interesting is that's not the only thing today was the marketplace update as well where we have the end game outfits and as you can see I mean they do look pretty cool of course what we do have is the new Iron Man skin as well as the other ones for like Captain America etc etc. This is something that people were kind of 50-50 on but I always say when it comes down to the skins that right now it's a situation offshore they can definitely 100% be improved to a much different standard as to where we are now but ultimately when we look at the basic ones such as the suit for Iron Man and Captain America they're kind of cool in my opinion so going on to the big big information which is the roadmap update now brace yourself because this itself is really really big now I do want to state that first of all we do have a new thumbnail for May being the Red Room takeover so we've got our first set 
of brand new MCU takeover suits, uh, I guess you could say, because it's the Red Room takeover, which is great. A lot of people kind of complaining about the Hawkeye situation, which is what we talked about in yesterday's video, but this is May. So, so far we've gone March, April, May, and now we have a release date for the Cosmic Cube, which is June. Now, it gets better, okay, because Cosmic Cube is in June, and what we do know is that MCU outfits are also going to be coming alongside the Patrol Mode and War for Wakanda expansion. Now, what I said at the start of the video when I said, hey, stick around to the end of the video, where well, we're going to be talking about a Black Panther release date because the roadmap has clearly given an indication on that. It's literally right in front of our faces at this moment in time. One thing that is mega key is following a pattern. One thing that is mega key is there being something brand new every single month for players to engage with. And so far that's been happening every single month since March. So we've gone March, April, we're now in May with the Red Room takeover and the June release date for the Cosmic Cube was basically the icing on the cake for me because what, what that ultimately means is from June we go to July being in Wasteland Patrol, why is this important? Well, because August is going to be War for Wakanda, and I have a very, very strong feeling we're going to be talking the 20th of August. Now, how does this roadmap indicate this, and why have I come up with that date specifically? Let me explain. So the reason why I've come up with that date is we've been following this trend being the no-brainer, and I guess like the biggest obvious kind of indication to that. But second of all, this game is still a free-to-play game on PlayStation now now the theory that we've had of course is that they go ahead and they release content every single month whilst the game is free on PlayStation now I know there are tons of people that say well technically the game's not free etc etc because you gotta pay a subscription to PlayStation now I know that I completely understand that ignore that it's kind of irrelevant because the game's still free in that perspective now the strategy behind this is to prove people like hey look at Marvel's Avengers come along and try Marvel's Avengers because it's gonna be great etc etc you can kind of get all these little basic updates which are not really basic they're still big within themselves but it basically ends in July now this is huge because they've got out all their content and we finally come in with that big finale of the big in fact, the only big expansion besides Hawkeye's at the beginning of this roadmap being War for Wakanda. Now, equally going on the release date for the 20th, again, we're talking Thursday being the updates in general because we know that Red Room Takeover is going to be, like I said, on the 20th, of course, on May. So that's being Thursday when we get the update. And well, again, looking at the pattern, looking at the history, it's basically kind of been that scenario almost every single time. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, I say August the 20th for the Black Panther DLC because it's summer and beyond. And that is quite literally where we will be sitting by the time we get to August. That is it. Mic drop. That is for prediction. I would like to be proven wrong, but I am pretty accurate and certain with my own belief here. So that's that. And that's going to wrap up this video here. So I'll see you in the next one. Till then, have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day. And until the next one, adios amigos.